As you guys can see, my makeup look is a little different. That's obvious. If you did not read the title down below, this is my Coachella Festival inspired makeup look. I am totally feeling this look. I love it so much. I would legit walk outside like this to go to the store or something. That's how much I'm feeling this look. And my hair is different. It is a wig. This is not my actual hair, but it's a wig. And I love it came just in time to film this look so if you guys want to see how to achieve this look and what products I use then stay tuned to the video bye okay you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the wet and wild primer and I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face As you guys already can see, my eyebrows are already done. I used the ColourPop Little Dip Pomade and Banging Brunette to shape them out. And I used LA Colors to fill them in. Now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. under eye hydrating primer and I'm going to go ahead and put this under my eye. This helps with keeping the concealer and powder from creasing. Next I'm going to go in with a little orange corrector from LA Girl. This is their Pro Conceal. Going back in with the beauty sponge. Now I'm going to go in with the LA Girls Pro Coverage HD High Definition Foundation Warm Beige and White. I'm going to mix the two together and get my perfect shade. Now I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and go ahead and press it into my skin. Now I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Classic Ivory and the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealers. I'm going to put the Maybelline on the inner corners under my eye and then put this one on the outer corners. And I'm also going to put this on the forehead, the virginal nose, the cupid's bow, and chin. On outer. Now I'm going to take the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and go ahead and pat it in. Now taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee and I'm going to go ahead and clean contour my face.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Airspun Loose Powder. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bake under my eyes. And my forehead area and my bridge of my nose. I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Contour Palette. I'm gonna be picking up this shade right here. I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics Sixth Edition 120 Quad Color Eyeshadow Palette. Hi. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, and I'm gonna also apply this into my crease and my outer V area. Now going in with the Nomad Single Shadow in Desert Sands, I'm going to apply this into the center of my eyelid. I'm just taking a flat shader brush. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it right to the center of my eyelid to make it a little more intense. Now going in again with a different shade uh, from Nomad Cosmetics and this one is Gold Mask, Golden Mask. And I'm just going to go ahead and place this right on top of Desert Sands. Taking the Wet n Wild brush I used earlier and just going to go ahead and run this through my crease. To make sure there are no harsh lines. Going into the Morphe 35C palette, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this shade right here with a damp brush. And we're going to place this right into the inner corner of our eyes. Going back in with my BH Cosmetic Shadows, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this shade with a wet brush and apply that right on top of the color we use for Morphe on, in our inner quarters and top that right on top to give it a little bit of a shimmer. Before I'm back in with the Morphe 35C palette, I'm going to go ahead with the Wet n Wild brush from earlier and dip right into this chocolate brown shade and we're going to apply that to our outer V. I'm dragging that brown very lightly to the inner corner, like barely touching my lid. Very soft pan you want to use. 
and then blending it out and smoking it out on the outer corner. Back with the Morphe 35C palette. Go ahead and pick up this blackish shade right here. It has like a very light shade to it. So I'm just going to tap it in very lightly. Place it in it out on the outer V just to give it a more smoky look. Now I'm going to go in with the Tarte, Tartus Mascara and I'm going to go ahead and coat my top and bottom lashes with this mascara. Okay, so our lashes are on and now we're going to go into our bottom of our lash line and we're going to go in with our Morphe 35C palette and a smudge brush and I'm going to go in with this shade and this shade to go ahead and smoke our, our bottom water lash line. I know you guys are always hearing me talking about how the Tarte Contour Palette blush shade reminds me of Romantic Rose. So I finally got my Romantic Rose back and it had crushed and broke. So I had to go and, you know, fix it myself so it doesn't have the little rose shade. But we're going to go in with this blush right here. This is from Milani's Cosmetics and it's Romantic Rose. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Desi Danger Highlight Palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And this is just a BH Cosmetics blender brush, but I like using it for highlighting. Coachella festival look that I'm doing we're gonna go ahead and add some little rhinestone gems that I have right here and yeah let's get started with that and for that I'm gonna use my duo eyelash adhesive you can use whatever you know glue you have on hand not no like actual like create, don't use crazy glue, don't use Elmer's glue, use something that is a glue that involves makeup. And I'm going to grab the rhinestones with some tweezers. Four right here and I'm gonna go ahead and place four on the other side as well now I'm gonna put one on each corner of my eye Colourpop's Kim Gel Color and Exit and I'm gonna go ahead and use an angle brush 
on our nose. So we have that one white stripe. And then we're gonna go in with Model Launcher Liner in the shade Emerald Isles. I'm gonna place that right under the white. Just like that. It kind of comes off black on camera, but it's like a very, almost like a dark turquoise. So we have this right here. Now I think what I want to do is put two rhinestones or maybe three rhinestones going upwards. So that's what we're going to do now. Now we're gonna go in with some glitter. And since I have blue on the inner corner of my eyes, I thought I'll put some glitter on the bottom. Like some glitter tears towards the bottom. And for that, I'm gonna go in with Glitter Injection Sparkle Mist. That's the color right there. I'm gonna start right from the middle of my bottom of my waterline. And just dragging it down lightly like so I don't want it too much Last but not least our lips and for our lips you're gonna go in with Colourpop's lip liner in marshmallow then our lipstick is gonna be J matte lipstick in the shade gray light and then topping it off we're gonna go in with Colourpop's Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Marshmallow. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use the e.l.f. e.l.f. We're going to use the e.l.f. liquid liner. And go ahead and place one line right in the middle of our bottom lip. And this is the finished look for our Coachella Festival makeup look. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you like this look, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of this look and what other looks you would like to see on my channel. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate it. But that is all for this video. Thank you for all the love and support. And I see you guys next time. Bye.